Shiva Mitzvah and uh, has been there since then. And he made maps of Tamil Elam. Then, of course, the little Tamil Elam was codified finally in the Vatkota Resolution from 1976 uh, and 1977, and since then it has been there. It has been then taken up, of course, also by the LTT, and I have uh, taken up uh, some um, quotations by him. Um, uh, how do I get to the below one? Now, Bibi Bibi Babakan is set in Taliban in Chitanatan from 1995, republished in 2005. He has some sayings about the state formation of Tamil Elam. It's a very interesting for a historian. No? Our culture is the life of our nation the soul of our ethnic community. Uh, I'm aware that this translation of Ibnam with ethnic community can be questioned, uh, but I've chosen it anyway. The question is uh, how we shall understand the composition of this word ethnic community. Is it a biological racial concept or is it just a cultural concept? I will come to this in the next quotation. I will just point out for you that this sentence, our culture is the life of our nation, could uh, be uh, from other cultures also. For example, I read an almost similar identical sentence by Herder uh, in the end of the uh, 18th century. Herder was uh, a precursor, so to say, of the German state formation in 1871, uh, speaking still about culture as a soul, and so in this case the German. So I do not want to indicate that we look at the Pavagan as red hat. I just want to indicate that before a state is a uh, made state, huh? you usually have an emotional period which is indicated also by Pnambalam Ramanadan's Taiham philosophy, you know? the formation of a culture which then turns, switches over into the formation of the state. But let us uh, look uh, at the second quotation where we give some indications of what he means uh, by Inam, by the community. The pillars that bear the superstructure of our ethnic community are education, language, culture, and land. The enemy is trying to demolish these pillars. His aim is to destroy the individuality of the ethnic community. Now, uh, when we look at this definition of Inam, we find that uh, this characteristic consists only of cultural elements, huh? like education, language, and then culture in the wider sense probably means some kind of uh, uh, fine culture. And of course the territorial concept is also everything that is man-made. It has nothing to do with biology or with the genetical reasoning of race. Huh? But two things are missing. Maybe you have uh, observed this when reading. First, this concept of uh, biological race is completely missing. I've read uh, almost everything that Tabakan has written and I've never seen any biological definition of uh, the Tamil as race. The second thing that is missing here, which we would uh, expect to find, is religion. Religion is not mentioned and in the whole book of uh, Babakan's uh, presentation. Not even once religion is mentioned. Huh? 
so uh, why is uh, religion not mentioned? Because religion, of course, is the first uh, dividing element that is against the unity, yeah? and also because uh, Prabhakar's ideology of the LTT and of nationalism is secular. He wants to indicate that uh, religion here is not a factor in the formation of the community. Of course, uh, I do not want to say that he excludes religion, but he wants evidently to avoid to introduce factors which create animosity. Then uh, the third uh, point, the third quotation is, our struggle for the right of self-determination has its aim, the establishment of an independent state of Tamil Ilam. To establish this independent state, it is essential to have a self-sufficient economic structure. Now, we have switched over from uh, a cultural uh, concept to a state concept, and it's quite clear what kind of state he envisages, namely an independent state, huh? and uh, he is also asking for the right of self-determination, and I can promise you that uh, never has David uh, Pilei Fabakan thought of a state which has an internal autonomy or things like that. But, huh? It's just not included in his uh, concept. I am well aware this is a controversial statement, especially in Norway, where the government of Norway has tried to introduce to the concept of autonomous region, but it has never met any response in the mind of the figure of our and see that is not of the slightest indication that he would accept such a thing. Hmm? Now, then, um, of course, this concept of nationalism has um, um, <coughs> been implemented in the form of what we could call expressive acts of patriotism. Hmm? And these expressive acts of patriotism we can study almost daily in the streets nowadays. Um, we can study them on streets. Oh. Oh. Uh, there are many of these expressive acts, uh, like uh, Mauna Anjali. That is, uh, when we salute uh, the martyrs in silence, uh, and then we have uh, the Satya Thamanam, the Declaration of Truth, the Oath of Allegiance, uh, uh, not to Devukili Prabhakar, which is a wrong statement. I have analyzed the Oath of Allegiance now for years, uh, and it's not an, uh, an oath of allegiance to Prabhakar, it's an oath of allegiance to Tamil Elam, but under the guidance of Prabhakar. Uh, uh, hmm? Then uh, we have this uh, uh, fighting as a Maran, this idea which is launched by Prabhakar himself. And uh, the idea of uh, Maran is a fighter. Huh? Mara, la, means wrath huh? and uh, curiosity and so on. So he refers to a historical phenomenon of uh, especially a group of warriors huh? that he uh, praises. And then we have also the concept of Patupala, one who binds himself, which we usually translate by the word of patriot. Huh? And there are many of these uh, patriots named in the list of Mali of the great heroes. Huh? So they are counted, these are civilians who have done something specific for the promotion of uh, nationalism. 